Hello guys, in this video we will discuss the normal tangential motions of kinematics of pentacle just by taking some problems stated here. So the problem mentions that the car is traveling at a speed of 60 mile per hour as it approaches point A. Beginning at A, the car decelerates at a constant 7 feet per second square until it gets to point B, after which its constant rate of decreases of speed is 3 feet per second square. As it rounded the interchange ramp, determine the magnitudes of total car acceleration A just before it gets to B, B just after it passes B and then C at point C. Now let's apply the normal tangential coordinate system here for finding this pattern because the motion is not a rectilinear motion. Let's start with the given part. So we have an initial velocity at point A which is 60 mile per hour and the equivalent of this one will be the multiplications of this 60 mile per hour times the equivalent of 1 hour is 3600 second and the equivalent of 1 mile is 5280 feet so once we do this the initial velocity will become 88 feet per second now the acceleration from point A to point B is given as deceleration that means it's negative 7 feet per second square but it's constant if we just construct the free body diagram for this part let's have this this is point B and this one is point A between them they have and the radius for this arc is 200 feet is given and then there is at the middle of this part there is a point C now let's do our calculation just from the required part A required that the accelerations of the car just before point B which means when it was at a rectilinear motion at that part in the normal acceleration principle and then a tangential acceleration principle if we combine the two we get the equivalent acceleration is equals to normal acceleration in the n direction plus tangential acceleration in the tangential direction in this case this one is tangent and this one is normal and then for any linear line the radius of curvature is infinity so normal acceleration is equals to v square over rho which means at point B, velocity of B square over a radius of curvature at point B just before the curve is infinity, so it will become zero. So the only acceleration will be a tangential acceleration. So finally, acceleration at point B just before it enters to the curved path is equal to zero plus tangential acceleration is negative seven, negative seven in the tangential direction. So to get the magnitude, we can apply and the radical a n squared plus a tangential squared so 0 plus minus 7 the whole square so finally it will be 7 feet per second so this is second square this is our answer just for the particle before enters the curved path and it just be asks us just after point b now just after point b the particle enters into a path and then it has a radius of curvature is equal to the same as the radius of the curve and it is 200 feet and then the tangential acceleration is also given as minus 3 feet per second square so to get the magnitudes of the acceleration we have to know both tangential and normal acceleration to evaluate the normal acceleration a normal is equal to velocity of p square over rho at this point we have the value of radius of curvature but we don't know about the velocity of b so we have to calculate it first now to calculate it let's take the motions of the car for the position a up to b the acceleration is constant then we can apply the principles for a constant acceleration just to evaluate the velocity now if we apply final velocity squared is equals to initial velocity squared plus 2a s equation this implies that Velocity at b square is equals to velocity at a square plus 2 acceleration from a up to b times distance from a up to b. Substituting the numerical values, then we we'll get velocity of b square is equals to 88 square minus 
the acceleration is negative 2 times 7 times 300 and then it will become 354 so vv square is this one this is feet per second dollar square the unit will be this one so we get the velocity vv square once we can calculate this the normal acceleration so normal acceleration is equals to 354 over the radius of curvature is given as 200 and then it will become 17.7 feet per second square now the magnitudes of the acceleration is under radical a tangential square plus a normal square which is equals to minus 3 square plus 17.7 square so it will become 17.7 97 feet per second squared this is our answer now the third equation asks us at point c now at point c tangential acceleration is given as minus 3 feet per second square the only unknown part is the normal acceleration and then normal acceleration is equals to not point c velocity square over radius of curvature at point c we know radius of curvature but we don't know about velocity of c to get the velocity of c let's apply constant acceleration principle since the particle from point b up to point c have the constant accelerations of minus three feet per second square let's have the distance from b up to c now for a constant acceleration final velocity which is velocity at point c square is equals to initial velocity which is velocity at b plus 2 acceleration from b up to c times displacement from a up to c now what's the unknown parameter here the only unknown parameter for calculating velocity of c is just distance from a up to c so how we could find out this distance to find out this distance we can use just one fold of the circle so we can use displacement from a up to c that means the curve displacement is equals to one fourth of the circle one fourth of the circle the circle circumference is equals to two pi times r which is equals to one fourth of two pi times 200 this is just while calculating the displacement from b up to c so let's convert this one this is from b up to c this is from b up to c while calculating this portion so that will give us 340 feet now velocity of c could be velocity of c square is equal to velocity of b is known here velocity of b squared is 354 so 354 plus this normal acceleration from b up to c is negative so minus 2 times it's 3 feet per second square times displacement is 3 1 4 which is equal to velocity of c square will become now 1659.8 now once we substitute this numerical value into the normal acceleration function so normal acceleration at point c will become 1659.8 with 200 and then it will become 8.3 feet per second magnitude of the acceleration is under radical a n squared plus a tangential squared substitute the numerical values will have 8.3 squared plus 3 squared so finally the acceleration will become 8.82 feet per second square this is our final answer thank you guys for watching us please subscribe our youtube channel we'll present you different interesting videos